my channel, it's Sarah, and happy week one of the Hogwarts house battles. So this is my video for the challenge of the bookish scavenger hunt. This was created by the Slytherin prefix, and the one that posted it was Bookishly Alley. Everything is going to be linked down below, so definitely check them out and all that fun jazz. This is my video for this challenge. So I have all of the prompts right here, and so I'm really excited about this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight books that I'm going to need to find. So I'm going to have my stopwatch and see how long it takes me. I'm going to say I want it to take me less than two minutes. I'm going to give myself two minutes to do it, but you know, I'm really bad at these, so yeah. We'll see how this goes. Alright. Get myself pumped up and ready for it. All right, three, two, one, go. I did it with one minute 38 seconds in one minute 38 seconds okay all right so I have all eight of the books so for Slytherin this was for a book that has green on the cover and I went with Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. it is definitely green so boom for Gryffindor a book with red on the cover literally red 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 all over it was the secret diary of lizzie bennett by bernie sue and kate robrick and yeah definitely red even caught a book with blue on the cover i went with song of the current by sarah tulser hufflepuff is a book with yellow on the cover and i went with not now not ever by lily anderson for battle a book with uh, for Battle, a book with a weapon on the cover, I went with Stalking Jack the Ripper by Karen Maniscalco. There is a knife or a dagger, whichever one you want to call it. Dagger. For Harry Potter, book with H and P in the title, I went with The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. There is an H and there is a P. For Keep It Short, a book under 200 pages, I went with Quidditch Through the Ages by Kenilworth Kenilworthy Wisp, uh, also slash JK Rowling. So finally, Trio of Friends, a book with three people on the cover, I went with The Diviners by Libba Bray. So there are three people, one, two, three, so it worked out perfectly. So. A minute 38 seconds. I did it. I said I was going to do it under two minutes. I did it. So I'm very proud of myself for that. And I cannot wait for the next weekly prompt. I don't know what's going to happen, but we shall see. I don't know. So as far as a reading update goes, I have read a total of five books so far this month, which it's day five of the of the month so that's one book per day that's pretty awesome some of them have been for the house battles some of them have been for other readathons that i'm participating in but i'm very proud of myself for having read what i have read so i am going to go through those really really quick just really quick 
and I'll tell you whether they are for house battles or for another readathon that I've done. This is just to keep y'all updated on what I have been reading. So the the first book that I finished was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I did read this for the house battles and I read this for Alchemy which was reading recommended a recommended book by a bunch of people. Then I finished Cress by Marissa Meyer. This one actually wasn't for the house battles. I read this one for the ATLA readathon, which is a uh, Avatar themed readathon. So I was really excited about reading this one. Did read Quidditch Through the Ages by Kenilworthy Wisp and JK Rowling. And this one, I actually really enjoyed it. I thought I was not going to enjoy it as much as I did, but I had, I had some great laughs and I had some funny, funny moments. So I really enjoyed it. And so I, yeah, I read this one for Apparition, which is to read it in public, which I did. I went to my local Books A Million. I just sat there and I read it. And so I really enjoyed it. And yeah. The next one that I listened to slash read along with was House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. This was the Ravenclaw house book. It I also read this for Divination. And then I also read this one for the other readathons that I am doing. So I read it for ATLA readathon. I did it for Monsterathon. And I also did it for read it for Zodiacathon. So this one is the only book that I read for all four of them or that I'm going to read for all four of them but I really really enjoyed this one. It, Divination is read a five star prediction book and though this wasn't technically a five star for me it was more of like a 4.5 or even a 4.75. There were a couple things here and there that I was like a little iffy about but for the most part I enjoyed this one so so much and I really really loved it so so the final book that I have read so far as far as this video goes is We Are Okay by Le Nina LaCour and I literally just finished this one and so I really really enjoyed it it was really heartbreakingly beautiful and like I didn't read it for the house battles. I read it for the Zodiacathon and I also read it for the ATLA readathon. But I loved this one so much. It was so good and like beautiful and very, very well worth the read. So I really enjoyed this one. Ah! So that is my little reading update for you as far as this week goes. So I have. A couple other books that I am going to be reading. I am really excited about all I have going on for the rest of this week and then after this week is done then I'll have more books to tell you about. So I'm really excited. This was a really fun challenge so hopefully this will inspire and motivate me to film more videos. I know I've been kind of on a hiatus at the moment just because I've been very unmotivated to really do anything and film. I've been reading a, a ton, a ton, a ton. So that's kind of where my mind has been at. With school starting back up at the beginning of August, I knew I wasn't going to have a whole lot of time to do everything that I wanted to do. So I didn't have a lot of time. I had to I had to kind of sacrifice something. These ones are really quick and easy to film and edit, but filming and editing TBRs and wrap ups and any of the other things that I want to film and edit have just been taking the back, a back seat on kind of my life at the moment. So that is my reasoning behind that. Yes, and it, it is an excuse, but, uh, that's where I've been. I, I promise I have been here, but I've just been reading. And so that's, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Comment down below. Let me know if you took part in this. Link your video if you like weekly challenges or even like challenges like this where it's like a scavenger hunt or any sort of thing like that. Let me know down below. 
Thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, happy reading and happy Hogwarts battling? Happy house battling? Happy weekly challenging? Take your pick. I don't know. I don't know how to end this. Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys.